7.17 a.m. I'm getting ready to go to work, but I decided that I wanted to try out the Mermaid uh, makeup brushes. So I figured I can use them real quick, just something simple for work, just to test them out and see if um, they'll shed or anything like that. So yeah, once again, they look like this. And if you guys like them and we can get a couple more subscribers, I'll do a, a giveaway if we can get to at least 60 subscribers. And I'll do three giveaways and I'll give you each um, a set of 10 brushes. So yeah, I'm going to start to do an eyeshadow. I am going to use, um, this is a very, very old, it's called Flip For It by Mark. And it's a compact that I've had for years. So... I mean old ho oh, and I just discovered that it has a lip section that I never used but this is usually what I use it's just a simple um shadow that I work with um that's crazy I completely forgot <laughs> that's crazy I completely forgot that I had um what are, what are they yeah, they're lip colors, that's probably why. I hardly ever use lip colors that I have to use a brush with. So I'm gonna use my tape for my eyes. And sorry if I'm looking right behind you guys. I have my mirror behind you. So there's my tape. I don't think the brushes have like a certain name, but I'll show you guys the angles of the ones that I use. I think this tape's really low. Um, and I'm trying to do this quick, so don't mind me. I'm trying to do it quick because I need to get to work and I'm not trying to be late. Um, I have primed my face with the Clinique uh, Moisture Surge which I'm literally like almost out of it, which is kind of annoying and I don't feel like going to the store, but we'll work with it. Okay, so I am going to use That's not gonna work. I'm going to use this sort of angled fluffy brush. It looks like this. Let's see if I'll focus. And again, it's the Mermaid Tail one to go ahead and put the eyeshadow one. It's called um, Ombre Metro all over my eyelid, which is going to be this one right here. Focus. Actually, for that one, I'm going to use just the fluffy brush like this. So, because this color is just going to go all over my lid. Um, a little update, I guess I can do a little update. Um, we are on crunch time to move. We have less than a month and a half and we still haven't found a house and it's stressing me out a lot. Um, my credit's not that good because of my student loans. I have them in um, that student forgiveness program, but they haven't completely fallen off my credit, so that sucks. But um, I'm hoping we can find something. I'm really hoping we can find a house because I love Halloween and I want to decorate for Halloween. And it's just uh, we've we got a house that we're looking at, but it's like a side house. You live behind, and I really. I want to live behind. I would like to find something that has a front door where I can have trick or treaters and and decorate. That's my thing. Holiday, um, Halloween's my favorite holiday, and I don't know. I like decorating for fall, so I would rather be able to do that. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go again with that first brush that I showed you guys, the angled one. And I am going to use the Skyline All Horizon shadow, which is the darker one. 
right there just to sort of darken my V and I just put it on my crease I don't really put it anywhere else because it's just for work I'm not doing anything crazy I just want to try them out and see if they'll shed or not um, Like I said, I'm trying to do this fast because I'm trying to make it to work too. So, and I've been dying to try them out, so I was like, I'm just gonna do it today. But yeah, that's what's been going on. I've been really, really stressed. Um, I haven't been able to sleep much, and I know that's not gonna end until we find a house. We've given the deposit. And we start moving. I like moving. Moving doesn't stress me out as much as not having or knowing where we're going to move. So, if you guys know of any people that are renting, that'd be helpful. But then again, half of you guys don't even know where I live. And I think we'll keep it that way. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I do something very simple. Um... Nothing too crazy. But so far, so good. Thank God it's Friday. I've been so tired this week. I haven't been able to sleep, so that doesn't really help much. But hopefully this weekend I can just go drive around and find, find a house. We have an opening uh, a house, an open house, sorry, um, this weekend for a house that's sort of up out in the fields, which I love. Um, it's a really big house. It's a Four bedroom house, two stories, two downstairs, two two bedrooms downstairs, two bedrooms uh, upstairs, which is kind of nice because if my parents need to move in with us, um, they can have their own living area and not feel crowded. I'm going back with that fluffy brush that I used the first time just to sort of blend everything in. But we're going to go look at it this weekend. I might film it. Um, hopefully, I mean, I don't, I get it, my credit's low, but I'm, we're willing to give like a little extra down payment if needed or whatnot. Really, we wouldn't mind signing a contract just because it gives us even security for us that, you know, we're not going to have to move because we've been moving a lot lately. The house where we were at before I got married got sold and it's crappy and I think you guys can see that video. On, um, on my previous videos where we had to move. So I'm going to go with my how Essence How to Make Nude Eyes and just use that um, an eye on apricot color, which is this yellow one right here. Let's see if you guys can see that one. And I'm just using... Um, this little brush that's kind of like a stippling brush just to pack on a little bit of that color on my eyelid. But, but yeah, hopefully the house, the lady can, I mean, I don't mind if she asks for a little bit more of deposit to leap of faith, renting your house and all that. But, um, Hopefully she can work with us and we can get the house rented. And I don't know if it's a factor that we're just newlyweds, but I mean, we're, we're close to 30 years. It's not like we're partying. Honestly, we, we're not partying people. We've never been. So I know people are like, oh, you're getting a house in the country. You can get, you can go partying and stuff like that. Uh, no. We're not partying people. We like being quiet and all that. Um, I have... Oh my God. 
to do it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and blend again. Um, we like just being quiet. Um, and when I say the house is out in the country, it's not really out in the country. It's basically where the fields start, but really like you cross the street and you're on to like the town. So it's not really like there's a, I think there's a grocery store right next to it. It's close to downtown and all that stuff. So it's not really in the country country. It's just, it's just where the fields start and whatnot. So there's that. Um, so I think that's all I'm going to do for my eyes right now because I need to get the rest of my face on. Let's go. I'm going to go ahead and do my foundation and then I'll be back to show you the rest of the brushes for bronzing and blush because I don't really do much more with, um, my face for work so give me a minute i'll be back okay guys i got my foundation on i'm gonna contour a little bit i received this a long time ago in an ipsy bag it is a contour stick which i've been loving it's called motto it's from motto co it's a contour stick um in the color i'm not sure if it's 12m or 16f24 um i don't think it's gonna focus because it's too shiny but this is how it looks like and I thought it was going to be harsh because I've had it for over a year and it's so creamy. So I'm just going to contour a little bit and on my temples and then oh, that one went way up. Um, I use a little Real Techniques blender to blend that into my temples and just sort of spread it out like so I know sometimes it looks really orange so I have to go with my beauty blender to tone it down a little and I'm probably not doing this right because if you guys know I'm just trying to explore a little more and more with makeup so Let's see how this goes. I've been doing this all this week and I've been loving it. I thought it was going to take a long time to like blend it in because it's basically like a cream uh, bl blush uh, contour stick. So I was like, it's going to take forever. But no, it actually blends in quite nicely. Sometimes if I pack on too much, I have to just go real quick with my beauty blender. And that's about it. Like, not, nothing too crazy. But, so this is how it looks. So, like, you can start seeing it blend. I'm trying to learn how to have more control on blending it the proper way. Because sometimes I end up going down like this. But um, I'm trying it. I'm, it's a try and error type of thing. I always like to go in with the beauty blender with whatever has leftover of makeup just to sort of make sure it doesn't look all harsh and crappy lining, you know? But this is how I do it. Well, that's how my contour looks. And since we're on the whole essence kick, I'm going to go ahead and use my, um, that I had on my Amazon haul. It's the Essence Sun, Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder in 02 Sunny, and it looks like this. And like I said, it smells like coconut. It smells so good. Um, let's go ahead and use, I'm going to use the fluffy brush. So it looks like this. And actually, they're very nice to handle, if I didn't mention that. And they pick out quite nicely. This one's so fluffy. I love it. So I'm just going to bring more warmth to my face. And then just sort of 
bring that warmth out. I love the smell of it. It smells like coconuts. I have a friend that doesn't like coconut smell, but I do. And I just don't understand how some people don't like coconuts. But then again, I'm allergic to melon. So I can't, I like the side of them makes me panic. Um, Cause I recently found that out. I didn't know and yeah, it wasn't a fun experience. But now that I have some warmth to my face, oh, they feel so good. And I'm not seeing them shed at all, which I love. For 10 bucks, this is not a bad deal. So I went ahead and used this one. Look at it. It's so fluffy. I love it. And then for my cheeks, I'm going to use my Clinique um, Heather Pop uh, blush. Sorry. And I'm going to use the little, more little fluffy brush that looks like this. And just sort of just dab it in to it. It looks like this. I kind of like the white better because it lets me know how much product I'm actually picking up on the darker ones. It's kind of hard to tell. I'm just going to dab this on my apples on my cheeks because I naturally get red already. So I don't need that much. So there we go. And I know it seems like I'm grabbing on a lot, but it's like a cream uh, blush, and it's really not much. Alrighty. And that shall do it. So what I'm just going to do real quick is go back with um, the bronzing brush and go all over my face with it, just so it sort of blends everything in. Like that. I'm trying to see if they have an actual name for each, but they don't. Oh well. And then just to sort of erase all the harsh lines, I'm gonna tap, tab, dab my beauty blender where I applied my my blush. And that shall do it. Um, it's really quick and easy. Like I said, this is like my work go-to. But this is how it looks, and I don't see them, like, shedding or anything at all on my skin, which is kind of cool. So I give this just a thumbs up. Like, they're good. I love them. So if you guys want a giveaway and like the brushes, let me know in the comments below, and make sure to subscribe. Thank you, and I'll see you next video.